Hey y'all, Barbara from All Brands. I'm gonna show you how to thread your sewing machine. Let's get started. So we're gonna load our thread onto our machine and what we do is we cut from the top and pull from the bottom, like so. The reason we do that is we don't want the fibers going into the take up lever of the machine and clogging that area. This is a horizontal spool pin Sometimes on a machine you will have a vertical spool pin. When a thread is on a vertical spool pin, it's going to wind off of the spool like this. When it's on a horizontal one, it winds off like this. So you want to make sure on the horizontal spool pin that you find a spool cap that is no larger than this area or don't use one at all. We'll put our thread on there. and then we will go through the guides. So this is a pre-tensioner, just kind of guides the thread in the right place. Now, let me turn the machine on. We're gonna make sure that before I go through this section, my foot is in the up position. Why? Because when you open, uh, when you put your foot in the up position, your tension discs are like symbols and they open. So that will allow you to lie the thread in between the two tension discs. And then we'll notice when I put my foot down and I pull my thread, there is tension. So I'm in the tension. If you don't have tension, you're gonna have a funky stitch. <laughs> so I always test that whenever I'm threading. Go through three. And then up here is your take up lever. If you can't see it, you can always turn the hand wheel of your machine until it's in the up position. Basically, this is what is making your thread pull up so that it comes out of the bobbin area and forms the stitch. Very important. So if that's not threaded, um, you're not gonna have a very good stitch. You always wanna go behind this little guide and then thread your needle. If you're using an automatic needle threader, always do like a needle up, needle down, pull out that slack because some needle threaders need it to be in the utmost position or it will, the little hook that goes through the eye of that needle will bend. So we'll go ahead and thread our needle, put it underneath our foot, and it's as simple as that. 